Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. So Conor McGregor releases some photos of him knocking out or knocking down his uh, sparring partner. And obviously, that's in response to Paul Malinaji and Paul Malinaji responding, saying that basically he has average power and Floyd should have his way with him in terms of power. And uh, so Conor McGregor's team released these photos. Um Make what you want to make of it. I don't know if um, the guy slipped, the guy fell. But we'll just call it as Conor McGregor KOs his sparring partner. And um, you know the one thing I will say about Conor McGregor? And I've been around professional athletes in my, well, my entire life because I have friends that are professional athletes now. But like in terms of, I don't know if you guys know, but I had a training business where I trained a lot of professional athletes. And when I look at Conor McGregor, because I follow him on Instagram, he looks like a professional athlete. When you look at um, the composition of his body, you know, uh, lean, long, lean, looks strong, muscles. And that leads me to the point of he believes he can win and he's training like he's going to win. And uh, I genuinely commend him for that because his money's basically guaranteed. You know, no one expects him to win. He can go in there and lay down, which I don't expect him to do. And take his seventy-five, one hundred million dollars gross. I don't know what he nets, but uh, and live happily ever after. You know, the, the bigger question is, if you make all this money, can you go back to UFC and make two or three million dollars a fight? That's a huge question. You know what I mean? Because Conor McGregor is a huge draw. Obviously, we have John Jones fighting Cormier tonight. I'll be real interested in that, just because of. Uh, the smack talk. I, I, I've come accustomed to listen to John Jones smack talk and sound bites on, on my social media time feed. So I don't know UFC. I'm definitely a novice at UFC fighting, but I know the big names. And um, so I, I would say I'm impressed with Conor McGregor and his uh, ability to commit to the fight. You know, I, I've seen Floyd spar about 20 rounds, work out a couple of times. And uh, Floyd obviously believes he's going to win. And uh, after the fight, if he says it, I'll share what he said, what he said to me. But uh, I don't want to divulge that information just yet. Hopefully he says it and, and I can and I can echo it. But uh, I'm excited for this fight. I'm excited. It's going to be an event. If you guys haven't planned a vacation yet, I suggest that you plan a vacation around this event in Las Vegas. If you got three friends, as I told you guys, it's going to be a hell of an event in Vegas. Not so much the fight, but everything leading up to it. Uh, all the girls are going up to get a baller and don't, uh, of all ethnicities. <laughs> so don't just think that it's just one ethnicity going up all ethnicities from, you know what I mean? And it's going to be an adult playground. I'll just leave it at that. It will be an adult playground in Las Vegas that weekend. You know, at every turn, you will be able to get whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I just want all my fellows out there just to enjoy themselves. You know, whether you're going with the woman you love, your childhood best friends, whatever you want is there in Vegas. You know, if you just want to go and eat, it's going to be a little bit more expensive that weekend. But just to say 20 years from now, you've experienced that weekend at the highest grossing fight in the history of combat sports. You know, just to say you were a part of it is uh, will be personally gratifying, I'm sure. So anyways, Conor McGregor knocks out his sparring partner. And obviously it's in retaliation to... Uh, Paula Malinaji saying he has average to good power, which means he has no power because if he had power, we would have all known, you know, he's knocking out sparring partners. You know how I got out about Earl Spence knocking out, uh, giving Floyd Mayweather a black eye and Earl Spence uh, making Adrian Broner do the stanky leg. You know what I mean? So when the power, when the fighter has the power, it gets outside the gym because how the fuck can 20 or 30 people in the gym keep their mouth shut? So barbershop conversation. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.